Uh, so I uh, want to take a look at this for them. Um, you can see here with Bitcoin's pullback here, this came right back down to a 618, all right? That's perfect. That's right where you want to see a bounce at, all right? If you were looking for a uh, for a bounce area, right here is where you would expect it to happen, okay? 618 to a 702, that would be your normal area to bounce. That is right where it pulled back to, all right? You do have a trend line up through here, Right up through this area here. Let's get it as close as we can. Uh, somewhere to about there. Okay. Now, one thing you definitely want to see, you don't want to see this come back up here and get rejected at that trend line. All right. That's uh, that we don't want to see. All right. You want to see it regain that trend line and, uh, and bust back up through there. Maybe it ought to be out here a little bit. Let's get it when it is perfect as I can get it here. Let's see here it's my first time charting it so I want to get it as good as I can okay all right there we go and then more than likely you would have you know a line coming down through here also okay uh, that's exactly how it would look now is this setting up for a short well that this is how shorts normally will set up you'll get your run down and then when you come back up into this box area is where you get in and then you ride it down. All right, now Bitcoin's done this pretty much to everything out there. Could this be a five wave down right here? Very popular. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's get back out of that. All right, we're going to take a look at a couple things here. All right, one, two, three, four, five is what we could possibly be looking at here all right now let's see if that is even in play here okay number one let's take a look at the daily rsi the daily rsi is pulling down you had bearish divergence here you had this high and you had a lower high and then on price action you had this high and a higher high okay which if bearish divergence can mean a pullback all right and on a 12 hour 12 hours just about reset okay just about at the bottom there the eight hour is reset at the bottom looking good four hour is pulling down but very oversold that's great to see that's where you want to see that and as far as a weekly goes we don't have a weekly all right but your rsis are getting oversold all right we have had a pull down here now like i said that pull down as far as any type of pull down that does not mean that this cannot come back down to that 618 again that that definitely does not mean that all right we came down and hit the 618 perfectly now we pulled back up now this could trickle back down to the 618 or 702 worst case scenario okay that that's if we if we end up uh, having a retracement here and it does pull down expect these areas for it to bounce all right now like i said with that daily rsi pulling down and the end of uh, bearish divergence absolutely could have a five wave down all right one two three this fourth wave would pull back up somewhere up in here more than likely and then a flush down your last wave down that would signify bottom and then that would send you on your way back up now bitcoin has pretty much done uh done its damage to everything today okay you can see bitcoin here um whoops i apologize here we go um we've been over in discord talking about this uh, especially on caspa we all got a very very good entry on caspa if you're interested guys we have a level three membership for 14.99 get you 20 videos nine hours of videos nine hours all right and a link to our discord an invite to the discord we have 150 members now okay and our trading group is absolutely top notch we have some A-list traders in there. And I'm not talking guys that uh, are putting $50. I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars. 
and there, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars that are uh, wagered in their group every single day so uh come join us we'd love to have you it's a bull run guys don't leave money on the table i show you how to chart charts so you can do this stuff yourself you can look for price targets for your bull run price targets to see so you have an idea where things are headed for the bull run you know what i mean you're going to want to know this stuff how how high can your coin go we did set a new all-time high for bitcoin today you know if uh if i was looking for a uh for a price target for bitcoin for the next bull run all right let me show you how i would do that let me get this off here i'm going to show you exactly what the uh, fibonacci says for the next bull run okay and I've, I 100 percent believe this thing is dead on accurate okay the next bull run bitcoin is showing a top two hundred and forty two thousand dollars 240 grand do i believe that 110 percent i believe that you know why because back here in 2017 you know what 2017 we had no idea what was going to happen the next bull run not a clue in the world well the fibonacci said 72,300 what we hit 69 it was off 3,000 bucks all right so i'll listen to the fib any day of the week but i show you how to get price targets on all your tokens you need to know that you need to know when to sell when the, uh, the rsi is rolling over bearish especially on the monthly it's time to get out i show you all that the discord alone is worth a lot more than 15 bucks so come join us guys we would love to have you that's enough of that let's get back to this place all right now one major thing i would like to see it do is regain this trend line all right so any move back up above uh six dollars let's see six dollars and 31 cents should put you back in trend up here and uh and get this back this thing back up in trend all right now let me see if this measured out to an abc in here by any chance let's get a measurement here and take a look no all right it gave a 50 percent retracement there uh it was definitely not an abc Right, it got to if it got to a 618 or 702 then i would believe possibly an abc but it's not all right so it, it could end up doing five waves down and worst case scenario like i said if it if it is doing five waves down it's over half done now you got your third wave down you'd be waiting for this fourth wave pullback and then a final flush and then uh then working our way back up all right but uh right now keep an eye on pyth watch for it to gain uh regain you know i would call it 63 cents i would like to see it regain 63 cents and get back up in the trend here if it doesn't it's probably going to get rejected at this trend line right here right this one right here let's make that a little bit bolder um you can see already it has not been able to regain that trend line if it regains it up here at 63 cents then i believe it's okay if it does not then watch for the five waves down okay after this third wave got complete and the fourth wave pullback was done then i could give you a target for a fifth wave but i have no idea until this thing finishes up okay you can see a bounce starting on the one hour uh, if we go to a four hour yeah you can see a bounce starting back up here so the big thing is is if it can retake this trend line all right so 62 63 cents i think you're you're clear you're back in line if it can't break above uh you know 59.7 is right at this line here 59.7 then uh, you probably got a little bit more downward price action left all right all right thank you very very much guys please hit the like and subscribe come join us in discord we'd love to have you man we got a lot of great people over there have a great day everybody